In the last video, we have seen Bernoulli's theorem and the terms involved in it. In this video, we'll see application of Bernoulli's theorem in flow measuring devices. So the first device we'll see is Venturi meter. In pipe, we have attached a Venturi meter. So it has this convergent section. This is the throat section, and this is the divergent section. And this meter is attached into the pipe to measure the flow. Let's say the flow is in this direction. Here we attached U-tube manometer with some manometric fluid. And as the flow will take place, it will show some readings. And that reading we consider it as X. And these are datums. This is the Z1 for inlet. This is a Z2 for throat. Let's name them convergent section, throat, divergent section. As we have used some other fluid to measure the pressure in the manometer, so we need to convert this reading, which is X, to the reading or the equivalent head of the fluid flowing into the venturi meter. So here we get that X is the pressure head in terms of manometric fluid, and H will be the pressure head in terms of the fluid flowing through the pipe. So it can be given as H equals to X times SM divided by SL minus 1. So try to make this in absolute value. Otherwise you have to remember two different formulas for that. One will be SM by SL minus 1 or in other we'll use 1 minus SM by SL. Where SM is specific gravity of manometric fluid, SL is specific gravity of liquid flowing in pipe. Now we can say that this manometer will show you the readings. The manometers are used to read the pressure differences or the pressure head. But here as this venturi meter is inclined, we get as a reading of manometer H equals to P1 by rho g plus Z1 minus bracket P2 by rho g plus Z2. The reading of manometer will give you pressure head difference as well as the datum difference. And the continuity equation in one dimension, we can write it as Q equals to A1V1 equals to A2V2. Let's take this inlet section as section 1, throat section as section 2. Now applying Bernoulli's theorem at inlet and throat, we get P1 by rho g plus Z1 plus V1 square by 2g equals to P2 by rho g plus Z2 plus V2 square by 2g. And after simplification, we get V2 square minus V1 square divided by rho g equals to P1 by rho g plus Z1 minus bracket P2 by rho g plus Z2 bracket close. And as we know that this right hand side of this equation is nothing but H, the reading of manometer. So we can write V2 square minus V1 square equals to 2g H. This 2g can be taken on that side. From continuity equation, we can write V1 equals to A2 V2 by A1. And we can put this in this equation, we get v2 square in bracket instead of v1 we have to write the value of v1 which is a2 v2 divided by a1 the whole square equals to 2gh if you take out v2 square we get in bracket 1 minus a2 square divided by a1 square equals to 2gh and after further simplification we get v2 square bracket a1 square minus a2 square divided by a1 square bracket close equals to 2gh and after simplifying and taking the square root we get v2 equals to a1 under root 2gh divided by under root a1 square minus a2 square. This is the value of v2 we get and as from continued equation we have q equals a2 v2. We get q equals to and this is q theoretical equals to a1 a2 divided by root a1 square minus a2 square times under root 2gh. This is the theoretical flow formula that we get from Venturi meter after applying Bernoulli's theorem. This is the expression of flow through Venturi meter. And we can define now one term which is called as coefficient of discharge. It is C suffix D, which we can get as Q actual divided by Q theoretical. So we can write Q actual equals C D times Q T H or theoretical. Let's write that actual and theoretical. And the value of CD is generally taken as 0.98. It is in that range. 